Hey guys, baby boy number two is due very soon and today I wanted to give you a full nursery tour and also toddler room tour because we also have a two-year-old son. So I'm going to show you how we have both rooms set up and I know there's lots of like nursery tours that are very extra on YouTube. I don't think mine's very extra so maybe this is more of like a realistic nursery and toddler room tour and i'm also going to show you a few other things that we're getting organized for baby so as i'm filming this i'm currently 34 weeks pregnant and i know that he's going to be here very shortly okay i had to sit down here i'm having some like braxton hicks so best if i just sit down and chit chat so the way that we have this all set up is my son peter he is turning two in may and then our next son is born in it's due in june so this should be 25 months apart so i ended up not buying a crib for the second baby and instead the second baby is basically just going to use the nursery that we already have set up for our son so we made an additional room for him like his new toddler room so as of right now our son peter the plan is that he's going to stay in this room in the nursery um, for a bit longer and still use the crib but then he should transfer over to his big boy room or whatever when he's around two and a half so our plan is to keep the new baby in our room in that we have the snoo bassinet and we'll keep him in that in our room for the first like I don't know four to five months probably and then we'll move him to the nursery and when we do that then we'll move Peter to the toddler room and the reason why I'm doing all of that is because I just did not want to buy an additional crib and like crib mattress when our boys are like at this, I don't know, at this kind of like weird age gap that Peter could be in a crib till he's three years old, but then they would only like overlap with crib use for like maybe six months. And so I just didn't feel like it was worth it to like buy the crib and do everything for that short amount of time. So that is the plan that we have. I also am wanting to not like move Peter over until like a few months after the new baby's here just so he doesn't get overwhelmed with too many things. So I'm going to show you our nursery which is the same room as what we had for our first son. This is where my first son sleeps and everything right now. And then I'll show you the new toddler room. And so this is kind of like a little different than I think a lot of people do this because I just didn't want to buy two of everything like baby wise when I know that we're getting out of the baby stage with our first son very shortly. So let's do a full tour of the nursery. I'll also leave links below for anything um, that I'm showing you guys and let's get to it. So this is the nursery and it's the same theme as what I had for our first son Peter. It's just like southwest um modern is what i was going for so we have these cute little decor things here i have some little llamas some felt llamas on the wall with all of these have been here for two years i also have these felt cactus garlands here too above the crib and then here's one side of the room where we have the crib obviously it's down low because our toddler who's bit two he sleeps here in the crib so it's at its lowest setting we also then have our bookshelf and just a little four cube with some little toy baskets at the bottom and all of his books there we have lots of cactus inspiration so we have a little cactus um, painting from target there as well and then the curtains that i have are also from target and you'll see in the toddler room but i use the same ones for the toddler room on this side of the room we have the full like sitting area reading area this is where I sit and read to our son Peter right now um, and I used to like nurse him in that chair as well so I think we're actually going to move that to our room when the new baby is here as a place to like sit and rock him um, if we need because Peter doesn't need to be rocked or anything anymore it's just a comfy place for us to sit and read then I have this little shelf here with Peter's like nameplate from two years ago and then little give save spend jars we're very passionate about finance is here so i'm looking forward to incorporating those things with peter here shortly so we have this dresser from ikea i've man it's so hard to get this dresser now because of um pandemic like stuff it's always like backlogged with supply chain but i bought this um before peter was born two years ago and this will again become the whole like the new baby's room but for now this is peter's 
dresser, but it will stay here in this room. Then I just have little decor, decor things here. I have this cute cactus. And we have the Hatch sound machine for Peter. You'll see more of these in our home because we love the Hatch um, sound machine. Then I have a little diaper caddy here with regular diapers, overnight diapers, and any sort of creams that we may need. Wipes. I have the Skip Hop changing mat in this room. And this one is really long and so it's worked out really well for toddler size. Um, I'm thinking that hopefully we can do potty training eventually soon with our son Peter. So I know that his time of diaper changing is also coming to an end. But we have that and then the Ubi diaper pail. I also just have this diaper pail. I do not buy another one for the second baby just because, again, I think that our time with diapers is coming to an end for Peter. So we'll just we'll have to empty this a couple times each week when we have two boys in diapers. But that is there. I really like this diaper veil. It hasn't like smelled up the room or anything. Um, the trash bags can also be used as like your own trash bags. You don't have to buy like special ones, which I like. There is a special thing that you can like put the um, trash bag through so that it doesn't stick out like this. But unfortunately it broke off in ours. So that's why it sticks out like that. But if you buy it <laughs> new... Um, and you aren't too rough with like yanking the trash out of it, then it'll be fine. And then you can actually like loop it through a like center hole so that the trash bag doesn't stick out like that. But at this point, it kind of, it is what it is. And this is what I mean by like a normal nursery tour. Like we're not super fancy here. So right now in the drawers of this dresser are Peter's clothes. So he just has like his toddler clothes here and this is where we'll keep his clothes in for right now um, because this is where he's going to be sleeping still. So all of his clothes are still in here and will be in here even like once the baby is born until he officially moves to the other room. All right, now it's time for a tour in the toddler boy room. So the nursery is obviously a lot more like neutral and really like soft and light, but I wanted to give Peter more of like a boy room for his toddler room. So let me give you a tour and then we'll talk about how we're kind of also using this room for baby stuff. Peter is in a dinosaur loving stage right now, so we have a little dinosaur sign. And then I have this little teepee that we actually got off of Facebook Marketplace for like 10 bucks. Honestly, it's pretty like dingy and I haven't been able to get out all of the stains in it. I don't know how long it'll actually stay in this room. It may not be for long, but it's a little play teepee area. Then we have his bed here. I got this frame off of Amazon. Like I said, we really didn't want to buy a second crib. So instead we are like more future proofing with his bed. And we just got a twin mattress from Ikea and that just sits on the bed. The frame that we have is just completely decorative. It's not any sort of support for the mattress, but it's just like gives it some sort of decorative frame rather than a mattress just laying on the floor. But I felt like this was the safest option for him of like transferring from his crib to then a bed um, so that I, I expect he's going to roll out of it. But that way he's like literally right there on the floor. So he just has the little comforter and dinosaur sheets that I got from Target and floor bed. I don't think I can get off of it right now being this pregnant. But um, it does the job and eventually whenever Peter has like an actual bed frame, then he can still use the same mattress. I'm sure he'll use this for a while. So we just wanted to future proof that there rather than buying like a toddler bed or something like that. Like just wanted to buy once and be, be done with it for a few years. As I mentioned, we have the same curtains and curtain rod in this room as we do the nursery. So those are there. They are blackout curtains. So over here in this corner, we have a cute little decorative shelves. And then we have this little cube shelf area where we can um, put some of Peter's toys in here. I know that we have to like pr toddler proof the entire room. So I wanna keep good toys in here that like obviously don't need supervision. Um, so we can put a few of those here and then we also put some books. So this is still like a work in progress. Obviously that's not done. But um, it'll be crazy that he can like have all these little toys in his room. So then over on this side, we have another dresser. I also got this from Ikea. Um, it was such a hassle to be able to find. I had to have it like delivered to our house rather than picked up at Ikea because it was so difficult to find. I spent months trying to get it. But we got this little dresser. 
And I like that it's darker over here because it kind of just feels more like boy-ish than his like super neutral nursery that he had before. So I also have the circle mirror here that is the same as in the nursery. I love these circle mirrors. We have quite a few of them around our house and I just have this from Target. So this is the hatch changing pad and scale. And this is the changing pad that I plan to use for the baby. Our journey with breastfeeding Peter was pretty difficult at the start and we had to have a lot of lactation appointments and check his weight and see how much he was getting. So I really like this hatch scale because you can put him on it before feed to catch his weight. And then you can feed and then put him back on to see how much he actually got. So that's why I wanted to get this for this baby as more like um, confidence that he was getting what he needs. So this changing mat is actually like smaller. It's shorter than the skip hop one that we have. I really like the skip hop one too. And I like this one because they can like wipe clean. You don't have to like change out a cover. Um, but we're going to use this one for the baby because of the weight feature. And this was like a splurge that I got um, for this baby. And when the baby is born, we're actually going to take this and put it in our master bedroom so that we can change him like in our room. So this is just a place for it to sit for right now. Um, and then we could even bring like the skip pop one in here. If Peter is still like in diapers while he's in this room, then we can just swap that out. But yeah, this is for the new baby. And then I just have a little lamp that I got at Target, another hatch sound machine for the new baby. As I shared, we love these. And then we have the outlet um, monitor, which we use with Peter, and we really liked that as well. So in the drawers here, this drawer is kind of a mess, but this is all of like the baby things. So I know that this is obviously Peter's new like toddler room, but because Peter's going to be like napping and sleeping and everything in the other room, we wanted to keep all of baby's things in this room so that we could access them without having to disturb Peter or anything like that. So I know that's kind of funky of like, we have the baby's things in the toddler room's dresser, but that's just how it's going to be for the first like, I don't know, four, five, six months before Peter moves to this big room. I have the LV Curve, which I'm excited to use this time around. I didn't use that for the for my first baby. And then we also have the LV Stride Pump, which I'm also excited to try out. So I need to get all these things like washed still, but for right now, it's just like a place to put all of the things. Um, we have these newborn diapers and they are just like, it's so crazy to see how tiny they are compared to like Peter's diapers now. And I have these in just a little caddy with some wipes and some swaddles. Again, we'll just take this whole basket to our room for the beginning when the baby is in our room. We also have some socks, which I need to like refold up. It's kind of a disaster here, but baby socks that we've saved from Peter. The perk of having two boys is he doesn't need any clothes. These are all of Peter's clothes from when he was like, this is newborn through three months. He has so much stuff. And so this is all that we possibly need. So I have this all folded up, ready to go in this room um, for the new baby. And then this bottom drawer is more baby stuff. We have little swaddle blankets, which I have way too many of those also from Peter. And then we have some swaddles for the snoo and little sheets um like all of the soft blankets and things so these are all like this whole dresser is just filled with baby things as i mentioned but it'll be nice for us to just be able to come and get it um here without having to worry about the nursery as peter is still in the nursery the other thing i wanted to show you guys is a little bit of our play area downstairs because this is where we spend like all of our time and where peter plays and where i know we're going to spend a lot of time when the new baby is here so i have something really cool to show you guys as we've been getting like organized and ready for baby so these are all of peter's like love every toys that are out i've shared about love every we love all their toys they also have a play shelf and so this is the play shelf and it's a great place to keep toys we just have it here in the corner of our living room and it looks so nice <laughs> we are able to have out a bunch of peter's love every toys but the awesome thing about it is that it makes it really easy for toy rotation so we try and rotate peter's toys every like one to two weeks and it's really great for them to have toy rotation to keep them interested and also have better like independent play so that's obviously going to be really important when a new baby is here as well so i want to make sure that we can easily do this and keep peter entertained and before we had this shelf we just had like a cube shelf down here 
the one that's now in Peter's room. And the issue with that is that then it was really hard to do the toy rotation because I was then having to go around the house, find like the buckets of all of his other toys and then take them out, rotate them through. But let me show you how easy toy storage is and toy rotation is with the shelf. So you come here to the back of the shelf and you just open this up and here it has all the toy storage so you can keep all of your toys back here. So there's a couple buckets, like one on each side, and then under the bucket is where you can fit other bigger toys. So we have all of the Love Every Toys stored away in the play shelf and it makes it so easy for me to just be able to take things out, swap out toys, put other things back in here, and therefore I'm able to do it more frequently. Now my organization in the back of the shelf isn't as pretty as like the the description on like love every's website but it does the job and the great thing is that it like hides the clutter which is the point right so i can now have everything accessible and these are all of his toys that he's had from like three to four months and so we can also you know reuse these for the baby and everything too and keep baby's things down here so i'm so excited about this shelf we've had it for a couple weeks now and have been loving it it's also made of birch wood and it's so solid. My husband put it together and he was like, this is the nicest piece of furniture that we've ever owned. <laughs> I've shared about Love Every many times here on the channel, but we love their toys. They are a subscription play kit company that sends toys directly to your door for your child's age and stage of development. And I love that it just takes the guesswork out of trying to figure out what your child needs. And the toys are really high quality, Montessori inspired. We've loved them for the last two years. So I would highly recommend checking out Love Every. And the other great thing about the Love Every play kits is that like the play kits for a specific age, but your child can find other ways to play with it when they're older, which is another great benefit to toy rotation because Peter can then be interested in toys that he's had from previous play kits because he now uses them in a more like advanced way. And so we're just like huge fans of Love Every. So they did send us the shelf. I will leave a link to it below and a link to the Love Every play kits if you wanna get signed up. We're huge fans of Love Every, have been for two years and I'm excited for the next baby to use it as well. So here we go. We're nice and organized down here in the toy department and I'll get this all ready for Peter. So he has some activities and things that um, he can do when I'm like nursing the baby and, and doing all of those kinds of things here in the next month. So that is the tour of the nursery, the toddler room, organizing kid stuff as we're getting ready for baby boy number two to be here. We are super excited for his upcoming arrival and let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video of like me getting other things ready for baby. Like I have a whole checklist of things that I'm trying to get done and then also I want to like get all the baby things into our room and maybe give a tour if you guys are interested in that. So, so let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing and I think we just have a few more baby prep videos coming up and then baby boy will be here. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we share more of this um, journey and I also talk a lot about finances here so you can expect how finances integrate with all of these family things as well. And again, I'll go ahead and leave links to the things that I can find down in the description box that I mentioned in the tour and you can check them out there. And thanks for coming to hang out for this really normal nursery and toddler room tour. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.